Good morning. It is 8.01 on Friday, December 30th. Uh, I'm going to call the special meeting of the Board of Selectmen to order. Our first item of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Selectman Nordell, would you like to lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our one and only item of business on today's agenda um, is to discuss and vote to forward to the town meeting a resolution to authorize the first selectman to submit a grant application on behalf of the town. For the community investment fund in support of installation of water a water line at park hill um, so for those just as a reminder um, the community community investment fund is a state funded arpa or is an arpa funded state program uh, that will have 10 application rounds over a five-year period this is the second of those 10 application rounds the uh, grant submissions are due by january 6th and it's expected that the CIF board will notify the recipients sometime in March as to their um, funding priorities. Um, last time they had something like $900 million uh, submitted in applications for $100 million worth of funding. So this is very competitive. Um, however, I think that the merits of what we've worked with the housing authority on uh, will be attractive to the CIF board. Um, the Park Hill facility, as it stands right now, does not have hydrants uh, in case of a fire. Um, and in order to run those, it's going to, uh, the estimate from Connecticut Water as of last month was $3.7 million. That's to run it about a quarter of a mile from the intersection of Main Street and Rye Street and Windsorville Road up to the top of Park Hill. That, that short distance is expected to be $3.7 million. Certainly not something the Housing Authority can handle on their own. Certainly not something the town can take on on our own. So we need some state assistance for it. So the resolution, just as we did in the uh, summertime for the community center project, um, would simply put in the hands of the town meeting whether or not to apply for the application. Um, Linda or, or Marisa, would you like to add anything to that? I just want to say thank you so much for your support. And uh, this would be a huge um, plus for Park Hill. Um, our water system is working well, we keep it maintained, uh, but it is aging and uh, it gets more costly. And uh, this would be just wonderful if we could have the lines going up to Park Hill and most importantly, having the fire hydrants. That is, I mean, just, sometimes I can't sleep at night because I worry about that. So if this can actually happen, it would be um, wonderful for Park Hill. And I think for the community as well. Thank you. Risa? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, piggyback on what Linda said. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it. And the huge, huge concern is not having the fire hydrants. I mean, thankfully, in all these years, nothing has happened. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's such, such a liability. It's yeah. such a, a fear. Every time yeah. the tones go off. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Questions or comments from the board? And just for clarification, yes. this doesn't really touch our ARPA money. This no. strictly comes from ARPA came, uh, you can think of it in three different buckets. Um, there was the local appropriation, which was directly to us. There was the county appropriation, which was then done on a per capita basis and dispersed directly to the localities here because we don't have county government. Um, and then uh, there was the state's tranche. Um, and this is one of the ways that they're using their funds. Um, in total, we got three point, about $3.5 million here locally. That's a combination of the local appropriation and the county per capita appropriation. That gets one of only six, uh, I think six states in the country that does not have county government. Um, so it, it was the per capita assessment is how actually Congressman Deloro was able to suggest we don't get jeopardized or, or penalized for not having county government. So yes, this is state state funds. This is not local power. So at least this project would just get the water line up to that area if the doesn't include actually going into bringing the you know connecting to it. No, the the quote from Connecticut Water was this is the to run, get it up to run the water up there and install the hydrants. Got it. So we think so if they wanted to connect, they'd have that'd be a separate project. Connect what? To the water main. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, to the individual. Um, I'll have an answer for you on that by Thursday. 
Um, I'm not sure if Paul actually did the laterals off that. Uh, Paul Lowry is the um, super at Connecticut Water here in East Miller. It'd be great if it was included. I'll, 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 I'll get it. That's a good note. I'll get an answer to that and return to the estimate. But, you know, if you think about it, quarter of a million bucks, $3.7 million. Uh, quarter of a mile, $3.7 million. I mean, this does say expansion of public water into the housing authority, but I don't know if that was just, that it was accurate or not. It is going into the housing authority, whether or not it laterals off or just stays on Park Hill Drive. Oh, okay. So it will go down the main right, drive. Right to the top. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. But I'm not sure about the laterals off in each of the, the buildings. Yeah. Again, the, the first concern was hydrants. Sure. Yep. Understood. Other questions or comments? Do you think it's on a well system there now, right? Mm -hmm. Is it one local two well? Two. two? Well. Yes. One, one of them was struck by lightning. That's common. Uh, yeah. Twice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. Oh, I'm yeah. kidding. We're not eager about that. Don't <laughs> but it happens all the time. Um, then I wonder how hard it would be to just from where the wells currently connect, getting water laterally to there rather than to each individual unit. Oh, if that's oh, you're saying use the existing system, use the existing lines that come from the well to the apartments, right. the individual right. units, rather than running a lateral line mm -hmm. to each individual unit, mm -hmm. just run lines to where the wells the top the ground, and then they'll feed the system from there. there my guess is there's going to be some sort of a pure requirement right. there that, that the housing, there's a, there's a process, but I, I'm assuming that the housing authority would have to uh, give up ownership of the wells and turn it over to Connecticut Water, um, because that's exactly the scenario that's going to have to happen in the school hill neighborhood. Oh, okay. Um, so in those discussions, they have talked about running Connecticut water laterals to each house yeah. um, versus just using the water. Yeah. Um, but that's a question for down the road, the, the right. machinations of it. This is about securing the funding with the cost estimate provided by Connecticut water. Yep. Um, all good points, but it's uh, frankly above our pay grade. And, and what, once we get to having the money, then we can have those conversations. <clears throat> Any other questions or comments? All in favor of forwarding the resolution to town meeting, please say aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Did we, we have to make a There's no aye. It's like, wow, I'm not going to call it so for a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've discussed the resolution. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to, to uh, forward to town meeting resolution to authorize the first election to submit a grant application on behalf of the town for the community investment fund in support of installation of water lines at Park Hill. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Our next item of business is uh, adjournments. It is uh, non debatable. All in favor? Uh, may I have a motion and a second? I'll move that we adjourn at 8.09. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? We're adjourned at 8.09 a.m.